I'm pretty confident in saying that my favourite Audrey Hepburn film is Roman Holiday. Now, I haven't seen all of her films. I've seen maybe half, maybe just under. But this one is absolutely fantastic. This was released in 1953, directed by William Wyler, with screenplay by John Dighton and Ian McClellan Hunter, starring, of course, Audrey Hepburn and Gregory Peck. And the description from IMDb is one sentence and pretty accurate. This says, a bored and sheltered princess escapes her guardians and falls in love with an American newsman in Rome. So this princess, played by Audrey Hepburn, Princess Anne decides to just run away. And she meets Joe Bradley when he thinks that she is drunk and in need of rescuing, I guess. But he doesn't know who she is. And... He just thinks she's a random girl on the street. So he takes her back to his house to make sure that she's all right because she can't get home. Not that anybody knows where home is for her. And then their relationship begins to develop. But there is a fly in the ointment in that somebody does recognise her. And they're trying to, I guess, out her. Um, whether or not Bradley realises it's her at any point, I'm not going to say. But... I think the character development is fantastic. I love seeing Princess Anne interacting with the world that she's not used to. And despite the fact that she's from royalty and is very worldly in that respect, she's not very worldly in the more day-to-day -day things. And it's just the contrast of her two lives is, is brilliant. And the way she looks at the world and the way Joe Bradley looks at the world are very different. But it's great to see her character kind of coming out of her shell and coming to life. There are some very funny moments. I love seeing them interact. We have the, obviously the famous scene when they're on the scooter. It's fantastic. Also getting to see Rome is pretty amazing. I honestly have no complaints about this. The narrative development is great. The scenery is gorgeous. The acting is obviously superb. And it won three Oscars. It won the Oscar for... Best Actress in a Leading Role for Hepburn, Best Writing and Best Costume Design Black and White. And the costumes, particularly Princess Anne's, are beautiful. It was also nominated for Best Picture that year, but it didn't win. I don't believe I've heard of the winners. The nominees for Best Picture were The Robe, Shane, Roman Holiday, Julius Caesar and a film called From Here to Eternity, which I don't recognise. But if you've seen it and you think it's worth watching, let me know and I might have a look. But it, it won a lot of other awards. It won another eight awards with 16 additional nominations. It's got a score of 8 out of 10 on IMDb, which is fantastic. It's constantly still getting praise and being hailed as a fantastic film. One of Hepburn's greatest, one of the greatest films of the 50s. I think it's splendid. It may not be the only film to take a rich or wealthy royal or high society individual and put them in the common world but for me it's probably the best example of that that I've ever seen it truly is phenomenal